Hello, welcome back to Reed Doll Making. Now, if you're wondering why there was such a long time between the weed, the reeds gathering and this video, well, in all honesty, we forgot. We hung them up somewhere we don't see very often. So out of sight, out of mind. But here we are. So we've grabbed our thoroughly dried reeds and we've gotten some buckets of water ready for them. So what we did, because we don't have huge long buckets, available right now is we cut between this thicker part and then the more free flowing leaves and put the leaves in one of the buckets and the thicker part in the other. I also put some washcloths on top that are soaked in water to keep it, keep the reeds from floating so that they're gonna soak up the water faster and get ready to be formed into our dolls. So we're excited to see how they turn out. I hope you try it along with us or at least enjoy our uh, fumblings as we try to make our reed dolls. Here's a couple things you're gonna need. The main thing is you're gonna need something for the head. It's nothing you see in your doll, it's something you wrap the leaves around. So you can use a piece of paper that you've balled up into a little ball. We're gonna use fool's gold because that's what we had in the, in the laundry room and so we're gonna use that today. There are some options to like give accessories to your dolls Ah, uh, who knows if we're gonna try that today. We might have just enough trouble trying to get the dolls to look like normal people. But you can grab uh, a piece of wood and put, that, put a base on your doll, or grab some toothpicks or wood and make them have a bow and arrow. You can do a lot of different things. So I hope you enjoy our fumblings as we try to make these reed dolls. Okay, so we're gonna get started making our reed dolls. Now we've already made some samples and it was harder than we anticipated, um, but we're gonna kind of walk you through what we did. So the first thing we did when we pulled the reeds out of the water, they were in there for about three hours. They probably could have stayed a little longer. Um, and fair warning, they do dry out pretty quickly. So I wouldn't take out more than you're gonna use at that moment. Um, you can always pull them out. And what you're gonna do is for the thick base part, we're gonna start to peel it very carefully um, if it starts to break, then you need to put them back in the water and we'll peel layer by layer so we can, until we get to the center. Okay, the first thing we're gonna make is our head. Now remember we grabbed our fool's gold. So we're gonna take one of these thicker pieces and kind of flatten it out carefully so that we can put our head right there in the center. Now, if your head is bigger than mine, um, or you wanna wrap the head itself, you can wrap it in another part of the leaves so it's a little bit more covered if you don't want something like fool's gold to shine through. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna put mine in and fold over to make this guy's head. The next thing we're gonna do is to tie the neck. So you're gonna bend a piece of the outer reed so it's pretty thin and malleable, mine's still green, and make a loop. And you're gonna put that loop on your doll and carefully wrap one of the ends around right below the head three or four times. And then you're gonna push the end of your thing through the loop and tie very carefully the knot. If you pull nicely, the knot's gonna end up underneath the wrapping so it looks nice and clean. And then those, the ends are just gonna end up part of your doll's body, so you don't have to worry too much about that. All right, the next step is, uh, if you need to cut off your doll's body because it's really big, you can do that. I'm gonna cut off um, the end of this strand so it's all pretty even, but. That's a pretty good height um, ratio, so I'm gonna leave him there. The next thing you're gonna do is your arms. This is the part we struggled with the most. So I'm gonna find a nice piece and start to rip it into pieces. All right, so we're gonna use, now I have, I got three pieces that are pretty thin out of this and I am going to twist for the arms. So I'm gonna twist from the center all the way out. 
All right, now here's where I have had the most trouble, which is with the arms and the hands. So um, last time I tied another reed branch around to make the hands. This time, I think it's pretty malleable, so I'm just gonna do a knot itself so that it'll keep the twist and the, uh, the hands pretty good. And I'm gonna twist the other side and do the same thing, although this is pretty long for arms. So I'm gonna stop a little bit early and cut off some of this excess. Otherwise, his arms are gonna be as long as his body, which is weird. Okay, so I, because I have enough space, I'm gonna tie this around his body, right underneath the neck. So now I have a head, a neck, and some arms. So the next part is the body. So for the body, you're gonna take some of these, um, some pieces that are still hopefully pretty malleable, and you're gonna start draping them over your doll's shoulders until you get the thickness of the body that you want. So I ended up with my last one doing about four, I think, draping, but we'll see how this one looks. So you'll know I kind of, I notice I kind of wrap around the neck and lay down over the arms like that. And I'm gonna do a few more Okay, so I got a nice thick body. It looks a little bit weird from the back, but we're gonna focus on the front. And now I'm gonna tie the same knot that I tied for the neck. So I need to get a skinny leave branch. And again, I'm gonna make that loop and wrap one side three to four times around, and then back through the loop. And very carefully tie the knot. And now I'm gonna trim the base so it's nice and steady. Here's our basic doll. He's got a head, arms, and a body. There we go, we can leave him just like that. We can stand them on something, um, tape them or attach them with glue to a base. Oh, I might be able to, oh, look, he stands up. With my other one, I added a broom. So I took one of those core pieces from the, from the middle of the reed and just cut the bottom so it became bristles for the broom and tied the arms in front with the broom in there. So it looks like he has a broom. And that's how you make a reed stop.